Hey everyone, welcome back to the place on the internet where we test all of the Can95 masks on Amazon. It's, it's niche, like you gotta go niche nowadays. That's what they say and that's what we're doing. Actually, we're just testing all the masks, but today it's Can95s that we bought on Amazon. This one is a banger. Looking forward to it because the name of the brand is the Homeland Hardware Store. I mean, that sounds America as f but when you look at the when you look at the actual box that arrives, this is the least American looking box. Like, look, I'm 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 not being a Zionist here. I'm just like saying, like, it's just interesting they decided to name this one Homeland Hardware. I mean, it's it's weird. It's weird, but I'm excited about it. Let's open it up. You know, maybe like I am being Zionist. It maybe maybe it means Homeland Hardware in Chinese. That's a good point. That's a good point. But this is like, this is, this is nice. It's not a soft touch box. It's a soft touch bag. That's a new one. Softbags.com. Look it up. All right. <laughs> Just sounds weird. I think this is a legit KN95. I'm excited. Wow. What a dork. Holy cow. Dude, I am, freak I can't get this in the clamper fast enough. Honestly, like, this better, this better pass standards or I, I'm going to, oh man, I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. This machine and the whole like $250,000 lab surrounding it is designed to test for the N95 standard, which happens to be exactly like the KN95 standard for the most part. And so when people are asking me, Lloyd, is this a legit KN95? I can actually use my machines to figure it out. But there's also, um, okay, this is weird. God, a lot of unpacking to do here. So this is a great, like, I love the packaging and it's like individually, like, is, how many are in here? 50 packs, so each of these are 10. This is a very like soft spun bond. And then on the outside, they're doing it. This is the first time I have seen a mask on Amazon actually follow the standard. So you can usually just look at a mask to see if they're following the standard. Uh, a KN95, It'll ha it has to say KN95, it has to say the standard GB2626-2006, weird choice to go with the old standard. Um, and then you gotta have the name of the manufacturer, Nang Key Zinc. That's, but what's great about this is like, typically I think on Amazon, people do not like to put the actual manufacturer name on there. Why? Because, well, number one, they're probably not really standing by their product. And if a company's not willing to put their name on their mask, are they really gonna stand by it? So they are actually doing that. So I am actually super excited by this. Knowing nothing about the test, I would recommend that you buy this mask over any other mask that I've tested from Amazon, because at least these guys are being upfront. And the, oh my gosh, the inside of this mask is just supple. It's supple, putting their name on it. Oh, that's gonna break though. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I, I'll give it to you. I like you guys. I like you guys at Nan Keezing. I need a. I need someone to come in here and teach me how to, like, pronounce Mandarin correctly. Uh, I'm gonna call the smell of this mask something, but not terrible. I don't know what it is, but I can't quite place it. But it's not terrible. It's like. It's like if you go to your second cousin's apartment for dinner and uh, it's very clean in there, but it has a, just a little smell that you're not used to, you know? But it's not a bad smell. Um, pretty decent construction, good fit, very soft on the inside, I like that. But does it protect you? That's what this whole machine is trying to tell you. Look at that, 99.027, 99, what did I say? They put their name on it and they put their money where their mouth is, right there, or something. I, I think I was using the wrong, that doesn't make any sense, really. But just, they put their name on it, and it had a good score. So that, I'm saying, that's my theory of the universe and life, <laughs> is that if someone's willing to put their name on it, more, li more likely than not, uh, it's going to come out good. And what was the breathability on it, like 170? 196. 196. So it's a little hard to breathe through. There are, there are more breathable masks out there. Look at our list, you'll see more breathable masks. Um, but... Good protection. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you got as excited as I did about this mask, I really think we need an intervention, folks, because there's something wrong with us, okay? The three or four of us watching this, there's something wrong. Smash that like button and I will catch you on the next test. <laughs>